let's break it up into the recovery. Now, as the hand extends into the recovery, I want to make sure that there's a good extension in the arms, but very relaxed through the fingertips. So I want to see this type of action directly in line with the shoulders. Some people make the mistake of coming across the body, but we want to make sure it's relaxed and direct line. Coaches often tell a swimmer to really extend here. That can affect the rest of the body. So we want to make sure that the shoulders is out of the water, but relaxed, but still part of the body as it comes in to the back part, into the stroke. Now, just before we go into the catch position, we want to make sure that the hand rotates out and the body rotates with that. This is what I call the power zone. We want to make sure that this last part of the stroke as we come in and put our hand in the water, that the arm is still directly in front of the chest. It's a much more powerful position to get on and get on the stroke in backstroke than having the arm behind the shoulders. So the timing of the rotation is crucial. So once we get the hand into the position, I think the crucial thing is that there is a connection of the arm to the body. Too many swimmers make the mistake of trying to pull really hard in their backstroke. And I find when they do that, it's like, you know, trying to put the accelerator on when you're a car trying to drive in snow. I don't know if you've ever done that, but it just spins. So the important thing is that they get onto the catch of the stroke. They get that feel and pressure on the water. Later on, we'll talk about some ways that we can develop that feel, that all important feel for the stroke. So when we notice our hand go into the water, where there is a connection from the core, and we actually want to bring the body towards the hand. So as we rotate. So a lot of people make the mistake of staying on the body, staying sideways and not rotating. We want to make sure that there's a connection here. And then as we pull through, our body rotates. So it gives us the most power. It's very similar to if I wanted to throw a javelin, the timing is crucial to give it the most power. If we're a little bit late in our timing and then rotate, we won't get that same power. So the connection under the lats, let's watch Daniel as he presses down on the side of the pool and he gets that connection of pressing through the body. Just notice there how he's engaging his lats, he's engaging his, all his muscle group as he pulls through. I find doing this drill is a good way to get the swimmers to apply force and then take their body past that hand position. From this, we then shift into a backstroke and try and engage more the underarm and lat muscle groups, which applies more muscles into the stroke. 